Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that is Putnam level. Here we have x1 plus 1 over x2 equals to 4. We have x2 plus 1 over x3 equals to 1. And we are going to see the same pattern up to x99 plus 1 over x100 equals to 4 and then for the last equation we have x100 plus 1 over x1 here equals to 1. We are going to find values that we can have for x1 up to x100 to satisfy all these equations. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, we are going to use AMGM inequality. In the past, we tried using AMGM inequality in different problems. You can find those in other videos that I posted in the channel. Here, let's focus on the first equation for now. Let's say that the two variables that we have are x1 and 1 over x2. Now, if we use AMGM inequality, you can say x1 plus 1 over x2 is greater than or equal to 2 times SQRT root of x1 over x2. Now try to write the same AMGM inequality for other variables and you are going to end up with what we have here. Now let's move on and multiply what we have on the left hand side of all these inequalities. We are going to end up with x1 plus 1 over x2 times x2 plus 1 over x3 times and so on and so forth up to x100 plus 1 over x1. We are going to use the same approach this time for the right hand side. Then we will have 2 times SQRT root of x1 over x2 times 2 times SQRT root of x2 over x3 and so on and so forth and for the last one we are going to have 2 times SQRT root of x100 over x1. Now note that for the one that we have on the right hand side we can just remove all variables. We have x1 for the first term and x1 in the last term. We have x2 in the first and in the second term. And you can see that we can remove all xi values here. At the end, we have 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, and so on and so forth, and we have 100 of them. So we can say that the left hand side is going to be greater than or equal to 2 to the power of 100. Now let's focus on the values that we got in the original problem. In the original problem, it says x1 plus 1 over x2 equals to 4, x2 plus 1 over x3 equals to 1, and so on and so forth. So on the other hand, instead of using the inequality that you saw, we can just use the values that we got in the original problem. We're going to replace the first term with 4, the second term with 1, and so on and so forth. And finally, we are going to replace the last term with 1. If you multiply all these things together, you are going to see we have 54 values that they are going to multiply together. At the end, we are going to have 2 to the power of 100. So basically, on the left hand side of the thing that you are seeing here, the value is exactly 2 to the power of 100. But we found that based on AMGM inequality, this expression needs to be greater than or equal to 2 to the power of 100. 
Now remember, based on AMGM inequality, the equality condition happens when you have equal variables. To prove this, you can simply solve this equation that you are seeing here in a way that we have here. You can say x1 plus 1 over x2 equals to 2 times squared root of x1 over x2. We can write it as power of 2 of squared root of x1 minus squared root of 1 over x2 equals to 0. So x1 and 1 over x2 needs to be equal. So we can say x1 needs to be 1 over x2, x2 needs to be 1 over x3, and so on and so forth. For the last two ones, we need to have x99 equals to 1 over x100 and x100 equals to 1 over x1. Now if we replace values that we got here and simplify everything, you can see that x1, x3, x5, up to x99 are equal, x2, x4, x6, and so on and so forth, up to x100 are also equal. In addition, they are inverse of each other. So you can say that x1 needs to be 2, and x2 needs to be 1 over 2, and other variables can be found based on what we have here. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.